Tonight, this is cool. A rare look inside a facility in Chicago's southwest suburbs that's studying what we do with those lithium ion batteries when we're done with them. CBS 2's Joe Donlin pays a visit to Argonne National Laboratory. We use them in almost everything from cars to computers to phones. It's hard to imagine our lives without lithium ion batteries. They're basically everywhere across the world. Dr. Albert Lipson is a principal materials scientist. We can also recover the separator. His specialty is research, figuring out what we do with those batteries when we're finished with them. How big an issue is battery recycling today? So it's a big issue in a lot of ways. He does the work here at Argonne National Laboratory. Funded by the Department of Energy, it's a sprawling campus tucked away in Lamont, where some of the brightest minds in the country have worked for 75 years on new discoveries that will improve our lives. Lipson's team is researching ways to effectively and efficiently recycle the batteries we use. We're just trying to find a better way to do it that's cheaper, faster, and without any of the environmental consequences. They've already made important strides in recovering several key elements that make up a battery. So this is a battery cell like what might be an electric vehicle or maybe a battery that you'd have in your home. Their focus is on the recoverable metals like cobalt, only mined in a few places around the world where there are often child labor and unsafe working concerns. Eventually we can get to a point where we can recycle enough that we won't actually have to mine very much material anymore. Lipson says we're just not recycling many of the batteries we use. We think something like 10% of the batteries that could be recycled are being recycled. Wait, only 10% of batteries that could be recycled are being recycled now? Yeah. Where are they going otherwise? Most of them, you know, in your drawers at home, uh, cars, you know, a lot of the, the folks are just storing those batteries, sort of waiting for recycling to become really profitable and easy for them. This is where the parts get essentially broken out. Exactly. They, they allow us to be able to actually pull the different pieces apart. So this is the shredded battery. So we've got the uh, separator material here. Where are we heading next? Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and head towards our aspirator. So the, the process of separating it begins here. Exactly. Starts here, and then we take that material out, and then we keep running it through more and more processing until we get down to nice, pure materials. This is the future of battery recycling, happening right here, right now. Capturing and reusing nearly all the materials used to make new batteries. There are important ramifications for the country, Lipson says, environmentally and even politically. One of the main reasons we want to recycle as a nation is right now we're getting a lot of our materials from China, who does a lot of the refining of these metals right now, um, as well as other countries that are at risk for having supply chain shortages. Uh, so for the security of the country, we need to have our own sources of all these metals so we can make batteries, even if something happens across the world that might limit our supply. Very cool stuff. That was Joe Donlin reporting. What about the shortage of batteries being recycled and plants that will do the job? Well, Libson says he expects big changes down the road as more people trade in their electric vehicles for new ones.